Hi, my name is Drew Russell and I'm a developer advocate here at Rubrik. Today I'm going to spend a few minutes reviewing the Rubrik modules for Ansible, which can be found out on the Rubrik Inc. GitHub organization. So if I scroll down to the readme here, there's a couple pieces of information I want to call out. First and foremost, we have a very quick set of instructions around how to get started with the Ansible modules and install them on your local machine. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have the Rubrik SDK for Python installed. And then from there, all you need to do is clone the GitHub repository to a local directory. And then you can start creating playbooks based off of that location. We also have a more in-depth quick start guide as well as the module documentation themselves. The other thing I wanted to call out here is our Ansible Galaxy roles which will be predefined playbooks that allow you to take advantage of the Ansible modules without having to mainly create some of these playbooks in advance. So if we move over to the quick start guide here, there's a couple of things I wanted to call out, specifically around how you can authenticate against the Rubik cluster. The first way you can do it is around environment variables. So if you have these three environment variables set, the modules will go out and automatically try to read that information. If those aren't set, you can also create a uh, provider variable in the tasks themselves and then point those at a, a credential dictionary. So you can name this anything you'd like, but all we require is that you have a node IP, username and password, and then you can um, add these to your task, um, which prevents you from having to mainly enter a node IP, username and password for every single one of these. If you did want to go that route, that's totally acceptable. The module will accept that. This is just kind of a helper method to cut down on your code and the playbooks themselves. The other thing I wanted to call out is the inspo.cfg file, which is included by default. This configuration file includes some basic settings that tells Ansible where to look for the Ansible modules, as well as uh, a helper utility script that we have included as well. You can definitely add this to a, um, you know, a, a higher level Ansible.cfg file, but this is just a very easy way to get started in the directory themselves. And if we move over to the documentation here, let's take a quick look at the rubric on demand snapshot and what is included here. So um, we start with an example that you can copy and paste into your playbooks themselves and get up and running very quickly. And then from there, we have um, all the arguments that the uh, playbooks are sorry, the modules will accept, including that credential information we talked about and the provider here, as well as some module specific variables that will be, um, you know, required for the on demand snapshot module in this case. And then from there, we have the various return values that you can expect. Usually this is a full API response from the specific endpoint we're calling. Um, so you can see in this case, there is a couple of different options that are available from here. So let's move over to uh, a demo here. So in this case, I already cloned the repository to my local machine. The only difference here being this demo file that I have uh, pre-set up here for you. The couple of things to, to mention here is the uh, local connection. You wanna make sure to have that set since we're not running this on a remote machine. Remote machine. And the other um, variable I have set is set variable I have set here is gather facts to false. This is completely optional, but since we're not gathering any facts against the root cluster, it's just one less thing you have to run when executing the playbook. And then from there, we're calling that rubric on demand snapshot module. And in this case, we want to take an on demand snapshot of an Ansible Tower VM. And then we also need to tell the module that it is a VMware VM. So if we go down to the terminal here, we can do a quick execution on this and it'll go through, connect to the rubric cluster and execute that on-demand snapshot for us. So if we go back over to the rubric cluster here, we can search for that Ansible Tower virtual machine and then scroll down to our log here and you can see we created a new vSphere um, snapshot automatically. The beauty of, of Ansible is that you're able to do all this without having to understand the underlying um, Python SDK. 
So but by just providing us a couple of pieces of information, you can take advantage of all of our APIs and basically the, the sky's the limit in terms of what you want to do. If there are any modules that you'd like to see added or if you run into any issues, feel free to just submit a new issue, um, get a hold of your account team, message, messages on Twitter, um, whichever is easiest for you, and we will prioritize um, you know, any kind of feedback you have. So definitely appreciate um, your time here today. And like I said, please reach out if there's any questions.